What's up guys, Dean Goronitis, Unleash This Book Reviews here today, bringing you a new book review every single Saturday. <coughs> Reviewing a new book today, written by a 26 year old, Matthew McIntosh. Book, it's called Well. This is the kid's first book and it's being released in its second hardcover edition right now. I think if you're looking to get it on Amazon, you can only get it at paperback, but I went to Skylight Books in Los Angeles and they're handing out signed copies of this at like almost 50% off the cover price hard copy. I couldn't turn it down. Everybody in the store, workers, managers, it, when I asked them about it, couldn't speak higher on this kid's talent and his debut novels, the first book that he's ever written and published. And you know, after finishing this and looking over it the past couple days thinking about it I have to agree that I'm pretty impressed. Well can be considered sort of like a short story collection in a way in the fact that every new chapter or section consists of new characters going on a new storyline. Uh, the storylines never connect like maybe some stories that you know where you get a bunch of characters in the beginning and the end they all kind of inter whatever that, that doesn't happen here but the one similarity they do all share is they all live in the same city of federal way which is a real life suburb of seattle washington and they also all visit the same bar the books titled well mostly because of the situation that most of the characters in this book are in which is this this pit of despair of pain of addiction and suffering uh, that has an exit that is visible but is pretty close to unobtainable. However, if it's there and there's a chance and there's no other way to escape, wouldn't you try to continually get out of that hole at the top of the well even if you knew that chances are it's never going to happen? I think most humans would and that's what this story is about it follows different characters going through different tough times you have for example a child whose mother works 18 hours a week is an immigrant and spends the majority of her day in a fast food restaurant making chicken and so the daughter in acts of rebellion starts getting involved in drugs and hanging out with the wrong crowd and dropping out of school and before you know it she is a drug riddled prostitute who is unsure of what she's doing with her life and the last glimpse we get of her is sitting on her mother's steps waiting for her mother to come home and after her mother takes too long to come home she gets up and walks to the local bar. That's just one short story out of at least probably 20 here. There's stories of uh, boys who are just coming to terms with the unhealthy relationship slash obsessive following of a high school sweetheart. We get stories of a man who tries to cope with injury after diving into a, the shallow end of a pool. We get stories of men who have never been known to be uh, spousal abusers, but one night when things get off the hook, it finally crosses the line, and what do you do with your life, uh, with yourself after a situation like that? Overall, all the stories in Well are very, they're bleak, uh, arguably depressing, but what we do have is the chance for redemption here. And I don't think many of the characters in the story get that redemption, just as in if a bunch of people were all stuck in different wells, most of them probably wouldn't escape. But there are a few brief instances here and there of, of uh, pushing beyond and fighting off the circumstances that you're in to find a more successful, happy, uh, satisfactory life. And while while well can be looked at as uh, a downer of a novel, and I can't argue that, it also helps to push us towards the thoughts that although no matter what we are pursuing in our lives may never completely uh, satisfy us in the ways that we had hoped, we can still find 
a general satisfaction in life itself. And for a 26 year old first time author to pull that off really impressed me and that's why I have to recommend this novel to anybody who's not scared of something that could potentially bring them into the darkness for a little bit while they read. Uh, Matthew McIntosh's Well, look out for it. And look out for more of this guy's stuff too. I have a feeling he's going to be one of the bigger authors that's remembered from our time if uh, he keeps up this pace. As far as uh, future plans are concerned, I have completed my first... I shouldn't say it's not the first time I've read it, but I think I'm going to be reviewing some Shakespeare for you next week, so you'll have to keep an eye out on what Shakespeare that will be. I think I'm going to keep that a secret for you guys. But I'm going to teach you guys who are scared why Shakespeare is not that hard and how you can get through it. I also have a Clockwork Orange in the works for the week after that, so you can keep your eyes out for that too. All right, guys? I'll see you guys next Saturday. Take care.